Hi, we're Jordana and Grant from Shot in the Dark Travel. Come join us on our epic adventures around Southeast Asia. We had an absolutely amazing first few days in Kotao. We were enjoying ourselves, we were loving life, but sadly, things took a massive, horrendous turn for the worse. Our time in Kotao was completely ruined and I literally could have died all because of one stupid decision. Make sure you watch this video and don't make the same mistake I did. So Grant's feeling a bit worse for wear today. Dodgy kebab a couple of days ago and it's just hit him now. So uh, we're going to Vietnam really soon. So I've told him we're not going on a boat trip today. He's got to stay in bed. He's got to get some rest drink a load of fluids so I'm just going to the gym and then I'm gonna go to 7-eleven uh, get a few uh, snacks for the day for myself because I don't think we'll be eating out uh, I think I'm gonna get in a cheese and ham toasty from 7-eleven if you know then you know um, and hopefully that line his stomach a bit, but I just want to get him something a bit bland. Um, but yeah, see how he gets on. But yeah, so I'm going to go to the gym now and go on the treadmill a bit. And then probably just eat loads of snacks. <laughs> Literally just one person in here. So Grant's in a bad way. I've just come back from the gym and I'm taking him to the doctors because he's got this weird rash all over his body. He's been, been sick, diarrhea. Are you going to tell him what happened? Oh, uh, well, yeah, food bed. <laughs> One of my finest moment of holiday. I, I went down to the reception to get something. John and I sent me out even though I was a bit ill. And it's literally a 20 second walk. And I went outside and like my vision was so blurred. I couldn't see where I was going. I was really dizzy and I like, threw some money at the woman and I didn't really know what I was doing and I just like sort of ran away like left my flip flops because I thought I was going to collapse and then yeah. I was like where's your flip flops? He was like oh, I think I left them at the desk. I was like oh my god. Honestly I literally thought I was going to collapse and just be in the middle of the road just waiting for someone to rescue me so I just like rushed back as quick as I could, laid on the bed, jumped up to be sick, laid and I was back like, on the bed and then just pulled I was everywhere. like Gran you've, you've like pooed on the bed and he was like what? Oh I did think I needed the toilet. I was like so yeah, that's interesting. So we need to sort that out as well, which is a delight. So um, yeah, we're going to the doctors now. And yeah. Jordan's like, oh, it's only two minute walk. And I'm thinking, well, last minute, last time a 20 second walk absolutely ruined me. So hopefully this two minute walk. I don't know what bad. you want me to do. Do you want me to carry you there? Like, I can't help how far the doctors is. Yeah, you still need to go to the doctor. Right, let's do this. I think the sunglasses are helping. It was so bright before my eyes were so sensitive to the sun that like, I couldn't see anything. I think they're really helping. Good. Let's keep going. Yeah. Hopefully, grand salvation. <laughs> You've made it. <laughs> one small step for Grant, one giant leap for hopefully we're not doing the bed anymore. <laughs> Gran has just had a blood test. The doctor wanted to rule out dengue fever. He thinks that could be one of the possibilities. So he's done a test with dengue fever. He's also done some blood tests and some urine tests so that he can see if there's like a bacterial infection or maybe an infection in the liver. So fingers crossed it's not dengue fever because we were gonna go to Vietnam in a couple of days and it will likely throw a spanner in the works. It is what it is. We've got to just get on with it, these things yeah. happen. Yeah, I had to do um, a COVID test before, which if you're not feeling very well, you feel a bit sick and someone's shoving oh. some up right at the back of your nose. It's literally the last thing I need. And then she's <laughs> trying to do a blood test and I'm like, stop, I'm gonna be sick, I'm gonna be sick. And she's like, 
what? Am I sick? I need because <laughs> I was thinking, do I need to like get to the toilet? And I'm like wrapped up to all these machines, but she just brought me a little plastic bag, and I was sick in there. Yeah, but, bless yeah. you. Like you, <clears throat> you're going through the mills a bit, and I feel really bad for you. But I also keep looking at you with your glasses on inside, and it really is really. Nice, weird. Really sensitive. <laughs> it's really weird. <laughs> One more thing. Oh, go on. So they made, they gave me what might be the world's smallest urine <laughs> sample jar I've ever seen in my life. I was thinking. <clears throat> For someone who sometimes struggles to aim in the toilet, they gave me a thing, like a two millimetre diameter, it was absolutely tiny. I managed to get some in there, and then I was like, oh. Some in there, you filled well, bottle? Yeah, I filled it, it was tiny. And then I was like, it's probably a bit rude to give the nurse the bottle that might have a bit of wee on the edge, so I washed it. And then I realised there was no towel, no paper towel, no hand dryer. So I then had to give her this like dripping wet bottle, and the, the look she gave me was the look of, you just given me a bottle with just covered in <laughs> It wasn't, it was just water when I washed it, but yeah, I don't think she understood that. So, it's not good news. I'm trying not to get emotional, um, but yeah, Brad's got dengue fever. It's gonna be fine, like, I don't even know why I'm getting emotional. Um, for a minute. So yeah, so we, we have to go to um, Kosmui. It's gonna be in the hospital. They don't think for very long, like maybe a couple of days and then we can fly. So um, fingers crossed, everything's okay. He's in high spirits, he's laughing and joking and everything as you saw before. Um, it's just not obviously one ideal and two, it's like, it's a bit scary, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I literally have had to like peg it um, back to the hotel, I need to pack both our bags and then go back to the doctors because they're arranging our uh, ferry which is at three o'clock and it's 10 past two now, so I'm gonna go. I'm in high spirits, I don't know why. Crazy man. what's all over Grant's body. It's all over his arms, all over his legs, all over his back. So guys, it is, I mean, you look really ill. You're you doing what? this face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I only want to do this if you, if right. you feel good. Yeah. Are you, do you feel all right? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. So as you can see, we're in the hospital. Grant's, Grant's not crying out of that he's unwell. He's crying with laughter. Um, he's just being a right silly bugger, like not taking it seriously at all, as per usual. But he's in high spirits, which has definitely made me feel better. Um, but yeah, how are you feeling, Gran? Yeah, fine. Yeah, I almost feel like a bit of a fraud. Like, they got us on the boat with like two nurses looking after the other boat. And then we got off first, got in an ambulance that had the blue like sirens going so it could overtake all the cars. And I was thinking, I honestly don't feel that bad anymore. I felt all horrible this morning. Now I feel like loads better. But yeah. the, the worst bit is I feel a little bit helpless because they've done the cannula in such a way that I can't bend my, any of my fingers on my right hand. So I'm having to ask Jordana to do everything for me because I'm like trying to put my sock on one handed and can't do it. <laughs> or trying to open my yogurt one handed and can't do it. So I'm just constantly like, do you have an earth coming out of me? Which is a bit draining for you, I'm sure. I I'm don't sorry. mind. I just I just hope you feel better. But yeah, no, yeah, I feel fine. And the fact that we've got our fire stick in just makes it even better. Plan for tonight is the only way is Essex, the Lord of the Rings TV show that's name, I can't remember the Rings of Power or whatever. Yeah, it is. Rings of Power. And then House of Dragon. So I've got lots of good TV to watch. <laughs> I'm quite excited. <laughs> So yeah, so when, when you were saying that you still wanted to go on this boat trip this morning, do you feel a bit silly now? <laughs> I think the boat trip wasn't really a good work. <laughs> it was unrealistic to try and go on a tour. Uh, yeah. Yeah. When it was this bad. So what I'm going to do now is just quickly show you around our, <laughs> our hospital room. Hospital room. So here you've got the patient's bed and the patient. We've got um, a chair and a little table. This is where I'm sleeping. Um, and then we've got like a sink, a fridge, 
and then our bathroom. Grant, how much do you think this is costing us? Um, an absolute fortune. I'm hoping the insurance pays out and then it'll be zero. But I think they said for the first night it was going to be 38,000 baht, which is about 900 pounds. And given we paid 25,000 baht to have the test at the clinic and then the boat journey here, yeah, it's adding up pretty quick. And they've said it might be two, to, if everything goes to plan, two more, day, two more nights in hospital. I think the one big lesson here is if you're going to travel around Asia, definitely get health insurance. Yeah. Um, like Grant said, we're just going to watch a load of TV. I'm hoping he probably won't watch that much and will sleep because he probably needs lots of rest. But Grant's usually falling asleep during TV anyway, so... Then I'm going to... Don't really matter, does it? Right, yeah. And I win, and then let's see the first disappointment. Oh, she's knocked out there. It's day four. Day four. Day four, we thought we'd give you all a bit of an update. Day three was not good. Um, we got told that Grant's uh, platelets dropped. Well, they dropped every day since I've got here, but they dropped just under safe level. I'm still going down, which was quite bad. And then... That was scary. Felt absolutely fine for a couple of days now, but it's it's a weird bit having, like, dengue fever. I think the worst bit about it is just, it's, it feels quite ominous, because I've never seen an illness like this before, where normally you go in a hospital, they say, we'll do some tests and we'll tell you how bad it is. Whereas with dengue, it just gets worse and worse and worse, and they don't know how far it's going to go. So you're just sort of waiting and then eventually you get better. And it's a bit weird just like waiting to see how much worse it gets, but. How do you feel today? Today's been very up and down. It started off horrible. So I didn't sleep last night because I was so itchy. So I was absolutely knackered. They're coming at, so 1.30 a.m. is always the last blood test, <laughs> uh, the last like blood pressure check. And then they're coming at 6 a.m. for the first one the next day. So I'm always tired anyway. They came in at six and I'm not kidding, spent 50 minutes just trying to find a vein for the blood test. They were like just like prodding me all over, like kept not getting any blood, kept missing the veins. And then the cannula, they had to change it. Then the cannula stopped working, so they had to do another one. And I was just like absolutely sick of it. And then the doctor came in, so I was feeling pretty down. And then the doctor came in, he was like, your blood test results are in and uh, things are back on the up. So you should be able to leave tomorrow if everything goes to plan. So, yeah from like very very low to then very relieved because I feel like now I'm hopefully out of the worst bit of it and just as long as no disasters should be out tomorrow which is great news and hopefully fingers crossed hopefully we'll finally get to Vietnam yeah and that our um, uh, insurance pays us, pays us out yeah but we'll... if it's done we're just going to take the hit because you're happy and healthy and that is the main thing. Well, and there's no option to not pay a cattle. Well, obviously, we can't do a runner. <laughs> um, they've yeah. got all our information, so. Yeah. That's our update on how we've been doing. It's been very stressful and everything, but we're getting through it. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Say goodbye. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, I am now out of hospital. I'm absolutely buzzing that I've recovered from dengue. So I think I just wanted to make a couple of points here just to wrap up. And I think the first one is probably I'm absolutely good it happened in Koh Tao. We loved it so much. I think of everywhere we've been in Thailand, it was maybe like my favourite place. So definitely can't wait to go back and I would recommend going to Koh Tao. And then the next point is, um, I'm, I'm almost like, you, I don't know why I'm doing this. I think I'm like your dad's or something. But even if you think you're not getting bitten by um, by mosquitoes, still put the spray on. I thought I'd never been bitten and it just turned out I wasn't reacting to it. I was still getting bitten and I was still at chance of getting horrible illnesses like dengue, so still definitely, definitely put on um, protection against mosquitoes. And I know this video was a bit like hard. I didn't want a horrible video where it was gonna be me and Jordana in hospital crying because there were some days like that when it was in hospital and the doctor was like, you might die from this. And it was like, 
Wow, like what, what on earth are we supposed to make of that? What do we do? I was thinking, do I need to start writing a will? Do I need to start stop getting my affairs in order? There were some horrible times, but there were also some funny times. We were both trying to stay positive and keep each other upbeat. So, you know, don't, I don't want you guys to watch this and think we were just in hospital having a laugh like we tried to, but you know, dengue is a serious illness. And the other thing I want to say is, I was so surprised by how good the Thai hospital was. Like, when I when I first found out I was going to have to go to hospital, I was like, oh my god, I'm in Thailand, I'm guessing it's going to be not the same standards that I would expect in England from healthcare. I thought, what am I getting myself into? Is it going to be safe? And honestly, it was really good. I would say my experience in the Thai hospital was probably better than my average experience in hospitals in England. And I get that the reason for that is that I'm a Western tourist with good comprehensive health insurance. I'm guessing the average Thai doesn't get that sort of standard. But as a tourist, if you got your health insurance, which I would 100% recommend after what's happened to me, it was honestly, it was like really good care. The nurses were super friendly. The doctors were friendly. They were so responsive. I had a button in my bed. If I needed anything, I pressed it. I genuinely think the average response time was about 10 seconds. At one point I went outside just to like see where they were. I was like, how are they getting here so fast? Are they all just like sat outside? It was literally, I pressed the button, they're straight in. And yeah, can't fault it. Everything, all the treatment I got was really good. The, the room was good. The doctor spoke perfect English. It was top quality healthcare that I would expect from a, you know, a Western European or North American country. It was definitely nothing to be scared about. It's been a, been a bit of a weird video filming this one. It's been like a crazy, mental up and down roller coaster these last last couple of weeks there's been some fun times there's been some scary times there's been some sad times and yeah it's been it's been weird that's the only way i can describe it and i hope that a you guys have learned something from this because i don't want anyone to have to go through what i've gone through but b i hope i hope it's been vaguely entertaining i'm honestly not sure it's been a bit of a weird one but if you like and subscribe there's gonna be much more content after this of me and jordana traveling the world having fun going to amazing places and fingers crossed, no more, no more of me in hospital. Right, cheers guys.